Hey guys, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian. Welcome to the video. Today, wobblers. Wobblers disease is a condition that affects mostly your large breed and giant breed dogs. What it is, it's a narrowing of the cervical vertebrae, the vertebrae that attach to the skull. And when these vertebrae narrow, it puts compression on the spinal cord. And then that affects the, the mobility of the, of the front legs especially. It can affect the back legs too, but we see a lot of front leg problems. Also guys, it causes a lot of pain. When you have pressure like that in the spinal cord, you get a lot of pain, inflammation, and the dog really struggles. They can have a hard time getting around, standing up, and a lot of neck pain too. Wobbles, like I said, affects mostly your large breed dogs, and it affects them young because they're born with it, and they develop into it, and things are really tight in there. I have diagnosed it in the exam room. I see a Great Dane, I see these symptoms, maybe weak front legs, painful neck, that's wobblers. So I diagnose it in the exam room sometimes, if I look at the dog, but to lock in the diagnosis, you really need to have some sort of imaging to confirm it. And a veterinarian may do a CT or an MRI or some kind of imaging, especially a clinic, to identify the narrowing of the cervical vertebrae. The way we're going to fix it is surgery. A veterinarian will make the cervical canal bigger, they will release it a little bit, and that will give the spinal cord more room to breathe, and that will allow the dog to live a relatively normal life once you fix it. Without surgery, a lot of veterinarians will do anti-inflammatories, they'll do steroids to suppress inflammation. You're not correcting the major problem, which is a narrowing of the canal, which will definitely affect the dog's quality and prognosis long term. But you can definitely improve the dog's life, especially tell surgery by medically managing the dog with NSAIDs or steroids. And guys, please check out my Amazon store. I got a lot of fun stuff on there. I also have like ear flushes and shampoos, things that I use at the veterinary hospital myself on a daily basis. I figure if I use it, it's good enough for you guys too.